Hello and welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time here, I'm Nurse Alyssa and today we're going to be going over gauze wound dressings. So the benefits, the applications and limitations. But first, if you could hit that subscribe button, it would be greatly appreciated as it truly does help my channel grow. So a brief overview of gauze wound dressings. So they've been used pretty much, it's it's the oldest dressing um, material ever used. So um, definitely before the 1960s, it was being used, um, but they were using it due to the ability of the dressing to absorb the exudate. So um, they used to want to absorb all the exudate and form that escar or uh, almost like a scab like material over top of the dressing. Um, this is what they wanted at that point. We now know that we want a just moist wound environment wounds heal actually quicker this way. But um, until recently, that's when that's when um, we have used science and realized that the moist wound environment is better. But um, woven gauze was being used. Now it's not really used a whole lot due to um, small pieces and fibers that tend to stick to the wound. We do use non-woven gauze. Now this has a lesser lint effect and um, it adheres less to the wound bed. Now, gauze dressings, they can be impregnated with antimicrobial um, activities um, such as iodine, zinc paste, hydrogel, saline, and chlorhexidine. So the benefits to using a gauze wound dressing, um, it is still a very popular choice, um, even in modern day, because it's cost effective, okay? It is the, the pretty much the cheapest dressing that we can get. Um, the ease of use. So you can find a gauze dressing anywhere. Um, and then it's just versatile. So it comes in many different forms, rolls, strips, ribbons, um, pads. So there's so many options given for these gauze dressings. So they are really used so frequently because most people know about them more than the other dressings. So traditionally we were using our gauze um, wound dressings for really any type of wound. Um, and even though modern um, wound dressings are being increasingly specialized, they're still used quite frequently, the gauze dressings. Um, but we more use them as a secondary cover dressing. So we're putting something on the wound and using this as a secondary dressing. Um, we also use this for wound cleansing, okay? Especially with those biofilms that we're kind of wiping over the wounds to disrupt that membrane, um, to remove it, be able to use um, antimicrobials and get it into that wound, okay? Um, we can also use it for homeostasis, so stopping a bleed, so using it kind of as a bandage, compression bandage on that wound. So some limitations of wound dressing. So this is compared to modern day wound dressings. Um, they play an active role in the healing process. So gauze dressings are limited as they cannot enhance wound healing. Um, so it really, ha it has been said that limitations of traditional wound dressings have promoted the development of modern day dressings. So gauze dressings, they're not able to provide a moist wound environment. So um, you would have to add something to create that, that moist wound environment, uh, mesh, um, hydrogels, you'd have to add something. Um, the wound dressings, they're unable to provide effective barrier against bacteria. So bacteria can get through the gauze. Um, it's not an occlusive dressing. N um, the 
gauze wound dressings, they do tend to adhere to the surface. Also, if you're not using them as a secondary dressing, they too, they tend to um, really stick to the surface. And that, that can also cause damage to fresh tissue. So you want to be super, super careful with this and soak the wound in saline to make sure that it's not sticking to that wound. Um, and then they aren't appropriate to handle very high amounts of exudate. So if you have a very exudating wound, your gauze dressing is just not going to be able to control that exudate. So I hope this video has given you a better understanding of gauze wound dressings and will help you for your daily practice. Um, but that's all I have for this video and I hope to catch you in my next one. Bye guys.